Hey guys, what's up with you? <laughs> well, I just finished Luigi's Mansion 3, and I have a few things to say. Because this game is good. So let's just jump into it. Luigi's Mansion 3 is actually a great return to form, after the second drifted off and added things that made fans upset with the franchise. It's kind of hard for me to think, and even imagine, that a franchise that started like this turned into this 18 years later. I had so much fun with this game, and while I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played it yet, I might spoil some things, so sorry about that, but this is my first review, so I need to learn how to do this better. But this game was so good. So a basic rundown of the plot of the game is that Luigi and his friends are invited to stay at the last resort hotel and in the middle of the night, Luigi wakes up to see that King Boo and Helen Gravely, she's the owner of the hotel by the way, have captured his friends and you need to go floor by floor to defeat them and rescue your friends. One key thing I want to point out is how good the graphics look even in portable mode. I played mostly in portable mode because I wanted to finish the game as fast as possible. Um, and I was surprised at just how good it looked. I played this game a lot, and even on that small 720p screen, I think it looks a little better than Super Mario Odyssey does in portable mode. Sorry, not sorry. Another improvement I noticed was how the game went back to the original game's format for going to Professor Egad's lab. In the original game, Luigi only went back to the lab after each section or boss battle, but in Dark Moon, there was a mission format. That meant that after we finished the goal of the mission, we were sucked back to Professor Egad's lab. It was so frustrating, since I wanted to just keep exploring the mansion, continue to the, to the end. But we had to go back to the lab and then go to the next mission, which was very frustrating. And I'm very happy that they decided to go back to the original format. Something else that I want to point out was how easy it was to learn the control layout. A lot of people say they don't like it, but I personally do. It's not that bad. It's like, it's easy to figure out. It's easy to use. It's good. They were placed in such a way that you can use any item or part of the Holter Gust G00. Oh yeah. In this game, we are introduced to the Poltergeist G00, which is way more powerful than the Poltergeist 5000 from Luigi Mansion Dark Moon. And now you can use Gooigi to get places that were blocked off before. Gooigi is used in places that you normally wouldn't be able to get to with Luigi, and with Gooigi you get extra power for boss battles or other tasks like moving a watermelon. Gooigi is added to the game, was given to the game. When Professor Egad upgrades or gives you the feature, it's really great. Um, and you know, we saw Luigi before this game in the remake of Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS. A new feature that was added was the Virtual Boo. The Virtual Boo is a device that Egad gives you, which is basically the Game Boy Horror from the first game, or the Dual Scream, the Dual Scream from Dark Moon. It allows you to contact EGAD from wherever you are. It also teleports you back to the bunker, lets you view the map, shows mission objectives, and displays the pause menu further. <laughs> displays, the, um, displays the pause menu, which is really great. Further into the game, EGAD upgrades the Poltergeist G00 so that if you have an outlet, you can do more damage to the room you're in which is really helpful for most places, but didn't use it all that much. This game was a lot of fun, but I have to do this eventually. Now, we must talk about the problems that I face with this game. First, let's talk about something I hate with games. This game, they don't directly tell you what you're supposed to do. You can contact Professor Egan and ask him what to do, but more often than not, I was searching up a guide to help me get through where I was. This isn't super annoying, it's just something that I wanted to point out. Something else I didn't like was the length. The length. It was kind of short. Here's my Instagram story to explain what I mean. 
So I just finished Luigi's Mansion 3, and I'm gonna do a review on it, but it was pretty cool. But it was only 10 hours long, so I got like 11 hours and 40 minutes, and that's not that long. Okay, so you're like, oh, that's not that long, but let me show you something. Let's see my most played game. Okay, so... Let's just, like, pretend that YouTube isn't there. Look at that. Look at that. Splatoon 2. 65. Super Mario Odyssey. 100. Super Mario Maker 2. 105. Jeez, these games. This is, like, oh, 130. This is, oh, wait. Super Mario Party. Well, that's, like, more of a, um. This is turning into another Kirby Star Allies. Five hours for the entire game. It was a good game, but it was like, <sighs> okay, never mind. It's only 11 hours long, which can be considered long, but that is short compared to my other games. As I saw, as I showed, Super Mario Odyssey, like 90 hours. And for Breath of the Wild, I have barely done anything in that game and I've gotten over 120 hours. I just wish there was more content. In the middle of the game, when I was in the middle of filling up the elevator buttons, I thought that when I would get to the top of the row, it would switch or flip, and there would be a whole nother row that I had to complete, but nope. It was so amazing, but I felt so much more could have been added if this game was originally going to be on the Wii U. One other thing that I just realized is that I never encountered a single boo during the game. I didn't even capture the one that we were supposed to use as a test for EGAD. He said that Gooigi would rumble if a boo was nearby, but I personally never felt any vibrations outside of boss battles. The only boo I ever fought was King Boo at the end. They just weren't that important, apparently. I mean, I kind of forgot boos were even in the game because I never saw them. I was hoping that they would be used more often, but after we were first introduced to them, I kind of forgot we were even able to catch boos. You guys made it seem like such a big deal. And for me to never actually catch a boo makes it seem like it was just a useless thing to have in the game. You need to really just add... If, it's, if you're gonna add something to a game, you need to have a reason for it. I mean, there are reasons for that, and they probably just missed a bunch of boos, but... I don't know. I didn't see any. My last complaint is that some of the boss battles are hard to figure out if you don't have a guide. So... It's like the final boss. <laughs> that one took a while. And it's like, I didn't know what to do because, like, he fell down. And I didn't know I was supposed to use Gooigi. It's like, <laughs> so annoying. But overall, this game was good. I just wish it was a bit longer. I waited over a year for this game. And I would have said it was worth the wait if it was longer than just, like, 15 hours. Because of this, I can only give it a rating of 4 me's out of 5. That's going to be my rating system for all the reviews I do, okay? This game is such a good game. It fixes most of Dark Moon's problems and returns to the original format for what a lot of people like. And I loved it. But if this was originally going to be on the Wii U, this was originally conceived as a Wii U game, I feel like they could have done a lot more with this. It's like Super Mario Odyssey. I know. Okay, I know. In Super Mario Odyssey, you have this bunch of level formats. Luigi's Mansion 3, you only have a big hotel. But it's like, you're already kind of breaking the laws of physics with some of these floors. You can at least make these floors... You can at least add more floors. It doesn't really need to be that short. It was a good game, though. I'm probably just going to replay it a bunch. It was really fun. Thanks for watching. I know this was a little short, and I did work on the script, and I was going to make this a longer video, but it didn't really work out that well. I guess I'll see you guys next time for something else I might think of. Some weird idea I might have. See you then. Bye. I can't wait to leave this town. Cause baby, I've been feeling down. The cold nights just don't feel the same.